So the DJI Osmo Pocket was one of the best purchases that I've ever made. Now I didn't feel that way at first, but as some of the updates started to roll out and some of the accessories became available, it actually became one of the most useful tools in my arsenal. Now I've been kind of playing with and experimenting different ways to use the Osmo Pocket in my videos to just kind of bring some more dynamic content and some more creativity. And what started out as a journey to find the perfect vlogging solution has actually turned into me considering using this for my full-time YouTube camera. So what I wanna to do today is show you these accessories that I've put together to make the perfect vlogging solution, but has also made me consider changing the way that I do things. So let's get to it. So like I said, I don't have a lot of vlogging or what people typically think of as vlogging content in my videos. And I think the biggest reason that I don't is because I've never had the right gear. You know, I used to use my A6400 or my A7 III, and the problem is the stabilization on both of those cameras is terrible. So when I would try to vlog with them, number one, my forearm would be tired after about five minutes. And secondly, the stabilization is not there. Everything is just wobbling all over the place. So, and then the Osmo Pocket came along and I started adding a little more vlogging type stuff with that. But the two things that bothered me about the Osmo Pocket were the audio still sucked and being up close and personal like this. It feels like I'm invading your personal space. So two things have fixed that for me. Number one is this thing right here. This is the wide angle lens from Freewell. And look at that. I mean, I, that totally makes this setup a whole nother level for me. And this is why I'm considering using this for my regular YouTube setup. I have everything I need right here. I'll put it up on the screen again so you guys can check it out. But I have stabilized footage, I have a nice angle of view, I have portability, I have 4K at 60, I have awesome, awesome audio. I'm gonna talk about that in just a bit. But everything I need is right here and it's affordable. I could sell all my other gear, make some money and I don't know, go out for dinner more with my family. And I think that's what this is about. You know, I wanna present to you some of the best things that I've used through my YouTube journey here, but I also don't want you to spend more money than you need to. And so, you know, if I'm using the expensive stuff and I tell you to buy this less expensive stuff, it, it really doesn't mean much if I'm using that expensive stuff, right? And so that's the purpose of me thinking about switching over to this because I can provide valuable content at an affordable price. And for me, I think that's huge. So let's go through this setup right here. I already showed you the wide angle lens from Freewell. It's great, there's one little bad thing about it though, I'm gonna show you right now. If your Osmo Pocket gets bumped at all, like if it gets tapped once in a while, see now I can't get it to happen. It doesn't happen that often, but if it gets tapped, sometimes it'll start to quiver as the gimbal tries to correct itself. It quivers and I see other creators have had that same issue with this wide angle lens. It's not a major issue and it's only happened to me a few times and all you have to do is just kind of tap the gimbal again and it's fine, it gets back to normal. But that is one negative, but I think the positive about it makes up more for that because look at this, in the corners, there's no distortion at all. There's no blurring, no distortion. The autofocus continues to work awesome. You know, when I tried out that cheap one uh, a few weeks ago, you get all this distortion and then the autofocus just didn't work. It was all over the place. And so that's the benefit of this. Now, to keep this video short, let's move on. The tripod I'm using right now, it's a $15 tripod. I bought it, I think four years ago um, from Amazon for 15 bucks. And it's a great little um, tripod. And the reason I haven't updated to the Manfrotto Pixie, the Manfrotto Pixie is like the best mini tripod. Like Manfrotto across the board makes the best tripods, monopods and things like that. But the reason I haven't updated is I figured why. I mean, I have a perfectly good little mini tripod here. And, uh, but if anything ever goes wrong with this, I'm certainly gonna get that Pixie. Now I'll put a link for the Pixie down in the description if you wanna check it out. It's really nice, it's affordable. I think it's like $20, so it's only like four or five more dollars than this one. But anyway, so that's my mini tripod. Next I'm using the Ulanzi phone mount slash Osmo pocket mount. And I think that's like $17. I just did a review on that. And it's one of the few things that Ulanzi makes that's actually good. You know, Ulanzi makes a whole bunch of stuff and most of it is really not good quality, but once in a while they get it right. And this is one of the things that they got right. So heavy metal uh, construction, very well built and it does the job right here, holds the phone tightly, keeps the Osmo pocket in there nice and snug. Uh, the next thing that you're gonna need for this setup is the audio adapter from DJI. It's 3.5 millimeter 
audio adapter. For me, I think it may be a little bit pricey uh, for what it does, but it's necessary to get good audio from the Osmo Pocket. I still, you know, people say the audio from the Osmo Pocket is just fine right out of the camera. I don't think it is. I'm gonna show you right here. I'm gonna unplug this and show you what it sounds like coming straight out of the Osmo Pocket. So here's the audio coming out of the Osmo Pocket. I haven't done any editing at all. I might have to turn up the gain a little bit because typically it's a little bit low when it comes out of the Osmo Pocket. But if I do, I'll put it down here on the screen. Any changes I make to any audio, I'll put down here. Um, you probably have been seeing it if I've made any changes. But um, see, this is what it sounds like and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And so I've been looking for the ultimate audio solution for my channel. Sorry, that takes a while when you plug it back in to come back on. So I've been looking for the perfect audio solution for my channel. I've been trying out different microphones, lav microphones, shotgun mics, um, wireless mics. Now I'm going to talk about the audio here in a little bit, but having that 3.5 millimeter jack is another thing that brings the Osmo Pocket to the next level. It brings it to where I want to use this as my YouTube setup. So they're going to need that. I think it's like $50 after shipping straight from DJI. And then the audio that I'm using right now, probably gonna be my audio going forward from here on out. It is the Wireless Go from Rode. The Rode Wireless Go is something that came out quite a while ago and I'm slapping myself for not getting it sooner because as I've used it now over the past couple of weeks, I realized that this changes how I do my videos. Typically when I'm making a drone video, I have to be right here in front of the camera, right in front of the shotgun mic and I can't move around and when I'm doing a drone tutorial or showing something with my drone, I want to be able to move around. I want to be able to, you know, not be restricted to one little space in front of the camera and especially on windy days. Like right now, it's super windy out here, but I'm using a lav mic hooked into the wireless go and there hopefully, at least hopefully there's no wind noise right now. So I love it. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys here. If someone from Rode happens to be watching this, I'm using a Deity lav mic right now. So I'm so sorry for doing that, but I've read so many good things about Deity and I wanted to try this lav mic and I'm going to use this lav mic by itself sometimes, maybe in the studio. I'm just going to plug it right in uh, and use it without using the wireless. But um, so sorry guys from Rode, but feel free to send me something else and I'll try it out. Send me your lav mic. <laughs> Shameless, right? Anyway, uh, so this is what I like. I like using a lav mic because you can use the wireless go without a lav mic. Like I'm gonna unplug it here and show you. That's one of the beauties of the wireless go and I'm not gonna go do a full review on this thing, but here, let's unplug it. So here it is right here. I'm gonna have it right up next to my mouth. Now, the benefit of having this is that if you forget your lav or you're in a pinch, or something happens to your lav, you can just clip this right here. So I'll put it in the same position as the lav. And this is what it's gonna sound like coming straight from the wireless go. So just amazing, amazing little unit right there. And you can get great audio without even buying a lav mic. So let's go ahead and plug this back in. And speaking of DD, guys, DD guys, you guys got it going on. This is a great lav mic, it sounds perfect. Anyway, so that's my audio setup. You don't have to do anything fancy. It connects right when you turn it on, you plug it into the Osmo Pocket, that picks up the audio right away. It's so simple to use. It's very portable, it's lightweight. You can take it everywhere. You're gonna have your phone with you anyway. And then you bring your Osmo Pocket and then you bring your little pouch with your wireless go and you have everything you need to make a YouTube video or a home video or whatever kind of video you wanna make. It's all right here. And my forearm's not getting tired. Yes, I'm switching back and forth, but that's just for effect, right? <laughs> anyway, I love this setup and I will seriously consider getting rid of the rest of my stuff. Um, just because I feel like I can do more things with that money. There's other gear that I wanna buy that could kinda step up the level of my production for my videos. And so to progress my channel, I think maybe I'm gonna have to downgrade a little bit before I can upgrade. Some of that stuff is great. You wanna have that beautiful bokeh, that $1,200 lens, that $1,200 camera. But when you're first getting started and you wanna start making content, I think this is the way to go. So if you got anything out of this video, click on that thumbs up button. Also comment down below, what do you think of this setup? Everybody that comments down below is eligible for the prize I'm gonna give away today. I'm gonna to give away uh, one of my hats here. I'm just gonna mail you a hat. So I'll give it, 
let's say a week, and then what I'll do is I'll just randomly pick one of the comments, it doesn't even matter what you comment, but I'll just pick one person uh, randomly and I'll mail you one of my 51 drones hats. So thank you for watching the video today. Click on that thumbs up button if you got anything of value. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, one thing I forgot to tell you, if you don't wanna spend $200 on the wireless go, you can save some money and get the Rode Video Micro. It's a budget option, it's $60. It works really well on this rig. And so you're gonna save some money. You're still gonna get good audio. You just lose the ability to move around. So I wanted to mention that in case you don't wanna spend 200 bucks. So what's that? That's the Gullstav Church right over this side. That is the Swedish Dalla Horse. Uh, this is the week of the Norsk Hoost Fest in our community. It is North America's largest Scandinavian festival. Great time, wonderful week. 60,000 people roll into our town, which more than doubles the size of our community. So it's a really fun time. I'll put a link down in the description if you wanna check it out sometime. Maybe you come to North Dakota in September and October and you wanna learn all about our Scandinavian heritage. Uh, it's pretty great fun. And yes, I am vlogging in public right now and I don't care because no one even cares about me right now. They're all looking at the giant orange horse. So <laughs> thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time.